All right, guys. Chapter four. Chapter three was tough. It was tough. I've replayed several times. But I'm glad it's over. Bloody Mary, who? You guys go ahead. I'll join you in a minute. Okay, but. Try not to upset any more serial killers. At least not before breakfast. No, of course. But it's such a nice morning. I just want to enjoy it for a moment and collect my thoughts. Sure. See you later then. And don't step in a sheep poo. Those are well trained sheep. They don't shit in the garden. <laughs> sheep guy's funny. Okay, so, what am I? You can come out now, little friend. I know you've been following me. Is it a little cat? Oh, it's a different What's cat. That? A name tag? Let's see. Miller. Nice name. Where's your owner, Miller? Are you lost? Well, you're welcome to stay if you want. There's always room for one more cat. Okay, so we have our last ability, Mila. Reanimate and control a fresh corpse. Interesting. Pull out cat's name to activate. Only on Burnhound's room. Right. Okay, interesting how that's gonna work. I can actually control a corpse. Uh, make another sandwich for George, great. Alright, anything here? I'm gonna actually go back if I need to. <laughs> I probably could. Uh, but we're not going to. Yeah. Ah, uh, George, you're this way. Wow. Someone's popular today. Huh? What do you mean? The cats. Just look at them. They adore you. Cats? Oh, yes. These furry rascals are rather lovely, aren't they? Sarah mentioned something about cats not being allowed inside. Really? Well, she's always preferred dogs. But don't worry, we can keep the cats a secret. Kieran won't say anything to her either. And Jenny, well, ladies like her never stay long. She'll probably be gone before next Sunday. Hey, uh, you're not heading towards the kitchen by any chance, are you? Yeah. You hungry? Oh, he wouldn't mind a nice sarnie. Yeah. Right. I'm on it. Okay, so he wants a sandwich, another one, of course. So let's try to make him another one. Uh, what do we want to make? Okay, let's do a. <laughs> he said he like he likes like super super um, easy stuff. So how about something like this? Yes, a gem sandwich. Okay, cool. That worked. Fantastic. What? Okay, maybe, maybe that didn't work. Maybe maybe it's supposed to be like this. Don't be scared.
Um, I don't have flashlight any longer. I do have like bullets and all this stuff still. And I still got... When you just can't be bothered. Right, I still got the sandwich. I haven't given it to him yet. Alright, so... Oh! Okay, we do have an axe. My god. Oh, that's... Oh, that's all me. That's me. Did I just pick up? Okay, I got some kind of sort of key. It's got like a lion's head on top of it too, or on it. Last one. Uh, so I gotta break this too. Quarantine area. Must have been like made in 2019. <clears throat> or 20. Okay, so we got the key now. Is that the cat? Yeah, that's a cat. Man, he's got one bigger. Why is he so big? You look bigger today. Do I? Perhaps it's because I'm so proud of you. Two tasks completed already. Well done, Angeline. You're really doing it. Hmm. I suppose I am. Thanks. But why am I here again? That's how things work on Burnhouse Lane. Once you find it, you can never really leave it. Am I dead? Did I... choke to death coughing? Is that it? No. You're here because it's time for your third task. But I've only just finished the last one. You don't have a lot of time, Angie. You know that. Fine. What do you want me to do now? You must go to the nearby town of Honiton. There's a woman there named Mary Willis. She lives in a house on the far side of town, away from prying eyes. Once, she was on the front pages of all the local newspapers. Now, most have forgotten she even still exists. See, Mary used to be a nurse. A phlebotomist. One day her colleagues caught her stealing blood bags. She was secretly stashing them in the trunk of her car so she could take them home. Mary lost her job, but did not go to jail. Instead, she spent a couple of years on the psychiatric ward, treated for schizophrenia. Okay. But well, what's that got to do with me? You will enter Mary's house and spill a drop of blood into her meal. Then you must make sure she consumes it. Why? Because blood is where your sickness lives. If you want to cure it, you must first share it with someone else. Someone horrible, like Mary. But won't that kill her? No. It's just part of the ritual. The only meaning it has is symbolic. How do I make her drink it, though? She loves all blood. She'll love yours, too. 
They call her Bloody Mary for a reason. You'll see. Now, go back before poor old George starves to death. But I... No. Quiet now. Listen. Be still. And let the darkness take you back into your world. You know, I should have done. I should have fed the horse <clears throat> while I was right, you know, right outside. Angie, it's the cancer, isn't it? Oh, you poor thing. Is there something I can do? Uh, there isn't just don't treat me like I'm dying. I really don't need that. You can keep it to yourself. I don't want anyone feeling sorry for me. Mm. I could use a friend. But, you know, I'll understand if you need to go. This desolate farm isn't really the right place for someone like you. Actually, George has told me there's a spare bedroom upstairs. I can have it. If I want. Oh, yeah. This place is exactly what I need after everything I've been through. So I'm gonna take him up in his offer and stay for a while. The thing is, I've done some fucked up shit. <laughs> and I don't even mean the vicar. It's a lot of things I kind of fucked up. And... I could also use a friend, Angie. Okay. There's just uh, one problem. The room, well... It's uh, locked. And neither George nor Kieran knows what happened to the key. Maybe you've seen it? I don't know. I've seen a lot of keys. What does it look like? It's, uh, yellow, and it apparently has a, a lion engraved on it. A lion? I think that's the word Kieran used. I honestly can't understand what he's saying half the time. I'll let you know if I see it. Well, wait a second. <clears throat> I have it. I have the key. <laughs> wait, didn't I pick it up in the gym? Why do I still have it? Okay, so... Uh, let's give her the key, or try to. And let's feed Georgie. Okay, he's joining it. Fantastic. Hey, kitties, kitties. Should I talk to him? I probably should, huh? Mike's not talking. You're all right, George. Uh, quite fine, dear. Thank you. You're all right. Okay. He's not a big talker today, which is totally fine with me. Uh, let's go and find uh, her. Whatever she went. So he said upstairs, right? Is it uh, like on the third floor? I know there were a couple of locked rooms, I think. Like this one. That was it. You found the key? I didn't realize that I've had it on me all along. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Shall we go in? Don't ask me, it's your room. One of the perks of being an actress is that I always stay in five-star hotels, wherever I go. They have those fancy bathrobes and mint chocolates waiting for you on the pillow. Sometimes they even do room service for pets. <laughs> What'd you imagine? You can order a poached fucking salmon for your fucking chihuahua if that's something that floats your boat. But this house and this room they're just so much better in what way no one's pretending anything here this shit is real so are the spiders just wait till you find one i don't mind spiders this place is oh 
Exactly what I need in my life right now. Jenny, are you sure it isn't your near-death experience that's making you see things through rose-colored glasses? Because let's face it, this house is a bit shit. I don't care. I haven't felt this good in a long time. Well, in that case, enjoy. I have a little errand to run in Honiton. So I'll see you later, I guess. I hope this errand doesn't involve any serial killers again. In Honiton? Please. The only thing that's capable of killing you in that dead little town is boredom. Sure. I, I didn't mean to patronize you. I just... <sighs> Be careful, yeah? Right, uh, I drive to Huntington, so I actually have to go outside and drive. Okay, so... Things I need to do, I think. Uh, sheep toy, hang on. I think... <laughs> yeah, that would be rude. So let's not do that. Uh, there's another room I haven't been in. But for now... Let me do this. Fantastic. Friendship plus one. That is good. I think I should have done that earlier. Alright, so off we go. I save my game. Um, I do want to pet a horse, if that is even possible to do. Um, I don't know if it's going to let me to go there or not. But we can try. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, I did. So, <clears throat> hopefully your horse is happy, and hopefully that will do me good eventually. Fantastic. Alright, super sunny out. I'm assuming that's just early in the morning, that is why. Uh, I have no business snooping around. I'm working workshops right now. Fantastic. Okay. Hey, buddy. My hey, savior. Yes. Where are you off to? Honiton. Shopping? Not really. I was actually gonna give some blood, you know. Oh, like to uh, to save lives and stuff. Yeah, that's right. To save a life. Okay. Anything else? That's it. Like we got a storm coming, so um, <laughs> there it is. Oh, and I got that roll out, of course. I'd better go on food from here. I don't want to alarm Mary by pulling up in front of her house. Okay, we gotta find this Mary. We gotta feed our blood um, to her. I guess that Mary is really a bad person. Maybe when I'm done with Bloody Mary, I should bring some fish and chips home for George, Ginny, and Arno. Yeah, him too. What is this guy looking at? Playing with puddles? I've never been a mom. Can't say I understand kids. I guess I will never know. Um, 
Yeah, he's just looking at the puddle. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Um, I don't know if I can do anything. Right? How about a coin? Oh, no. Nothing to pay for here. A big commercial building like this is going to waste waiting for someone to rent it, but the business isn't exactly booming around here. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Looks like local kids scribbled something on the sign. Bloody Mary. Yeah, three times, huh? Okay, so we got... Okay, so this must be Mary's house. Fantastic. Uh, let's see if she's home. Okay, we got all fans. Uh, enter backyard if we need to. Okay, so we'll just take a look at the path. This narrow path seems to lead to the back of the house. Okay, so I'm assuming this front door is locked in, right? Yeah, it's not. Uh, that's not a good idea. What would I say to her? Hello, herbal crazy lady. Would you like to drink some of my blood? No, I need to find another way to get in. Okay. Looks like she's all the way in the third floor because there's a light on. Okay, so this is locked. How the hell did we get in? Oh! Hello, Moonlight. Can I call you that? Did you follow me here? To Honiton? Really? Boy, you're gonna wish you didn't. Hmm. I have a nasty feeling that nothing good's waiting for us here. But, since you're already here... Will you help me again? Let's break inside this shitty old house and give Bloody Mary her medicine, shall we? Press RB. Okay, so now I am a cat. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and... Okay, obviously we're not jumping there. Um, where do we need to go? Where are we going? My goodness. That's not working. Okay, here we go. So now, um, we can I talk to this pipes maybe? Yeah. Ooh, Bloody Mary spooked me. Okay, now what? Get out of here. And now. Ah. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. What open this? There's a freaking chainsaw here. Oh my god. This lady's crazy. Uh, he doesn't want to go inside. Obviously, he can't.
Okay, how do we open any of the doors? Oh, oh, wait a second. Okay, so maybe that's how. And I'm assuming I'll have to open a door for her. Maybe. Do we go that way? Really? Um, I don't know if I like this sound. Okay, so this is nothing, right? I can just jump on top of some things. I guess I have to go upstairs. Oh, we got something here. Oh crap, is she here? Oh, who is that? Oh my god, there's a man with no legs here. Okay, she's definitely bad. At first I... Thanks, buddy. This guy has no legs. That is awful. That is awful. Yeah, let me see if um What's this way? Because the more open the more doors I open the better, I'm assuming. Look at all this blood. Okay, at first I thought it was like, hey bloody Mary, you know, she doesn't sound too bad, she just drinks blood from the hospital, right? But now she kills people, so. She's very bad. Oh crap. Not good. Not good. Is this supposed to happen? Oh, crap. She's coming, she's gonna get me. I guess I should have hit somewhere. Get out of here! Oh my god! You stinking little carpet pooper! I'm not having another bleeding cat sneaking up in here! I hate her. Now, she actually is still- I thought that I'm gonna restart the game. But no, she actually buried this cat. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is this supposed to happen? I hate her. She's dying. She's going to die. All right, Bloody Mary, I had enough of you. What is this? It's a heart. I can't just carry a heart in my hand. Okay, so we gotta find something. Uh, go down to the basement. Should we go down to the basement first? Let's go to the basement first. Okay, so now I can go there.
Okay, we gotta figure out how to pick up this heart, maybe, somehow. Oh, hide, I can hide. Where, what the hell am I hiding at? Like, what is this? Okay. That's where the guy was, right? So I can hide here too, okay? That's good to know. Take brain. No, I'm not tasting that. Add own blood. Should I go ahead and do that? Uncommon pot of vegetable soup is simmering in the stove. It looks like it looks pretty nasty and smells even worse. Okay, let's add my own blood. Okay, right. Adding blood to Mary's soup is definitely the way to go, but I'll need something sharp to cut or stab my finger. I didn't have. No, I don't have it with me anymore. Okay, so we're gonna have to go elsewhere to find it. Grandfather's clock, I can hear any chickens, probably needs to. I need to wind up the clock with the key first. Okay, so we're gonna have to deal with the clock as well. This is just a hiding place. Got it. Okay, before we go upstairs, let's go and. Um, <laughs> she got this bedroom. Old typewriter, it doesn't appear to be fully functional. Take page. Okay, we have some kind of page for something. Mary schedule. Jimmy breakfast. Uh, oh my god. She basically eats people. I bet it's like old copy of Huntington Tribune. I bet that in the past they wrote about Mary when they cut her with all that stolen, stolen blood. This should be cut once she's been released. That's crazy. She can go to jail. Uh, is this going back, right? It's going back, I think. Oh, shit. That's not good. Hide! No! No! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, it's okay, save my game. So do not go there, got it. Okay, so there she is, I'm not gonna go there. And um, I didn't go to this room yet, but this is exactly where the kitty basically died. Here's a little bottle he dropped. I wonder if I just didn't go into this room, what would happen? Okay, so I've been here, I've been there. Let's go now to um, all the way upstairs. There's a pig here. Hey, buddy. Oh, that's Jeremy. Okay. Normally, you'd expect the dog size of a German Shepherd eaten from a bowl like this. But this one clearly belongs to this horrible looking pig. The name is Jeremy. It's written on the side. Is that what the pig's called? What the heck? You don't like me. Hmm. We need to fix the clock, we need to know what time it is. We need to know what to feed Jeremy, maybe? Yeah. yeah. He definitely doesn't like me. Okay. So what the hell now, right? Like, where do we go? Uh, I think I've, like, been everywhere. That's back to the basement, I think. This is locked. Well, let me think. Let me think. Can we pick some stuff up with this newspaper, maybe? 
Oh my god, yes. Damn. Okay, so there's a heart and there's something else, like a liver. What do we need first? That is not... I don't know. Let's just take this. I still got some newspaper left, so that's good. Okay, we got the heart. Um, what else was there that we can take? It was something else, right? Yeah. We got brain. I'm not tasting this. Okay, let's try it. No, no, she doesn't want to. Okay, so is that where? Um, no, this is closed. Okay, let's try to feed the pig, maybe. And um, this is back to the basement. There was nothing there. Let's go back upstairs and go back to the pig. Jeremy, you are going to get a uh, brain. Let's do a heart. What's wrong? I bet you love this. You don't want to eat dinner, Jeremy. Oh, you poor bastard. Oh, Jeremy, you poor bastard. What has she done to you? She's going to eat him later. That's a bad pig. Bad pig. Okay, so what do I do? Put something else in there? Okay, he wants a lot. See? I'm friendly. I'm totally friendly. Okay. You just eat there, Jeremy. Okay, what is this? Lots of corny trinkets. For Selene pigs, Mary is really obsessed with them, but why? Uh, let's take a look at the book. A quick browse reveals the diary mostly talks about pigs' dietary development and training. There's also some more intimate intimate details that make me wish I never looked up the damn book in the first place. Okay. This looks like a Valentine Day's gift for the pig, I doubt it. That poor bastard only sees to enjoy meat and blood. I bet she bought this heart-shaped box of sweets for herself. Look inside the box. There's a key there. Got the clock key. Okay, we got the clock key. Okay, and now what is this here? This shaft seems to run down to the basement. It's crazy, but I think she really built it to shell out pigs. Oh my god. Okay. Right, so we do have clock key, so let's try to turn the clock. I don't know what to turn it to, but. Uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, it's ticking out, so it's 3 five, three or 5. Oh, I can send it manually as well if I need to. Okay, but what time is it? Like, how do I set the clock? Let's see. Okay, so. I'm assuming I just got to pick one of this. Um, breakfast? No, she needs to leave that kitchen place, right? Lunchtime, Jeremy. Drink. I don't know. Oh 
Oh, grab. Okay, well, that worked, whatever that is. Uh, I should probably hide. No, no, no. We've already drained today. What's wrong with this thing? Okay, so that didn't work. Um, so she already did that today. That means it's past 3 p.m., right? So um, let's try 6 p.m. Maybe it's 6 p.m. Dinner. Okay, that's probably worked. She's gonna fit the pig twice. Okay, so she left. That means I can uh, should be able to go past this place now, right? Whatever this thing says. Oh my goodness. It's this guy with my legs. Hello there, Angel. I've been waiting for you. Uh, what the fuck happened to you? I don't like it when strangers call me Angel. Sorry, I wasn't aware there was someone waiting for me. There we go. Sorry. I wasn't aware there was someone waiting for me. I would have come sooner. Oh, don't worry about it. Now that you're closer, I don't think you are who I took you for anyway. And who was that? It was... I don't even know. Someone else. Doesn't matter. He was ready to go. Look at me. How could anything still fucking matter? What's your name? Ben. I used to run a barber shop. But that was then. And now it's gone. Everything's gone. Did she do this to you? Well, what do you think? But why? One day, I went for the pig. I tried to strangle it. I wanted to beat that fucker's fat ugly face into a pulp. See, you can't defeat Mary without killing the pig first. I mean, you can try, but it's like punching a concrete wall. It just ain't gonna work. So, she amputated your limbs as punishment for attacking her pig? <laughs> yeah, but that's not even the worst part. She made me watch. I'm sorry. It's fine now. I've accepted my fate. I'm just a dead man, waiting for my angel to take me home. So, you're a prisoner here? I think so, yes. My memory's fuzzy, and the worst part, I can't tell what's real from what's in my mind. I'm real. You're real? Right. What about the big spider? The one right behind you? Um... What spider? Spider? What spider? Oh. It's gone now. I must have just imagined it. What's the deal with the pig? That fucking pig. They share a bond, they do. She loves the pig, and the pig loves her. But there's more to it. It's almost as if that bastard is the source of her power. She bottle feeds the pig with the blood she drains from my body. And in return, I know it's crazy, but that 
damned animal makes her strong as an ox. And honestly, there's no stopping her in a fight. I saw it with my own eyes. If you want to get to Mary, deal with the pig first. Right. Noted. How long have you been here? Weeks? Months? Oh, I don't know. Everything's a blur. But I know one thing. I won't be here for much longer. Don't say that. And neither will you. What? How do you... I saw you on the other side. Oh, yes. It's only a matter of time before we both cross over for good. Is there anything I can do for you? I... I'd love to give you a haircut before my time's up. I don't think that's possible. No? Why? You know why. Oh, right. You thought I meant here? No. Just find my other barber shop when you're ready. The one on Burnhouse Lane. Burnhouse Lane? How do you know about that? I keep dreaming about it, and in my dreams I can walk and hold scissors again, but the shop's empty. No one ever comes. Please, will you come? It would mean a lot to me if you did. Yes, I'll come. Thank you. Thank you. I have to go. Yes. You fly, my angel. Fly like a bird. Okay, so he, um, <laughs> I can probably check him, check with him back in the birdhouse lane when I, next time I go there. There's one last thing in the box, I'll take it. Fantastic. Okay, so I got something to pinch my freaking finger with. Um, but like, I still got some stuff. Well, this is like old, so maybe I don't need this. So maybe we'll try to go ahead and put my blood in the kitchen. Uh, I think we have to go downstairs for that though. Because that's where the pig is. Uh, yeah. Okay. And where should I be? She's feeding... Oh, son of a gun. Oh, son of a gun. No, no, I didn't know how, what in the world. Oh my goodness, my goodness. Bloody man. Okay, so I think we're gonna try this again. Um, well, the phone is gonna ring, right? I have to hide. That's upstairs. I don't think we have to go, we're gonna have to go downstairs now. There's nothing, there's nothing here for me to do. I've done everything. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I forgot about the needle. Okay, I got the needle. Uh, I just need to use it in the soup, I believe. He didn't see me. <clears throat> Fantastic. Um, was it a phone that was ringing? Mrs. Willis. Miss. That's a Miss door. Willis. What do you want? My name is Detective Kagan, and this is Detective Underseat. We just wanted to ask you a couple of questions. Can we come in? Not really. I'm in the middle of something. You're not going to keep us out in this rain, are you? It's just a standard procedure. We won't take long. Oi! I said! You just barged in! That's rude! Very, very rude. We're looking for someone. A man. Tall, dark hair, in his forties, 
goes by the name Benjamin Mitchell. What's that got to do with me? He's gone missing two months ago. So? Lots of people do. Right, of course. And when they do, it's our job to look for them. Yeah? Well, it's not to do with me. So go away and leave me alone. Is that blood on your fridge door? What? Oh, that. I... I had chicken liver for lunch. Ah, chicken liver. That's my favorite. Don't be disgusting, Dave. But that soup smells nice. You and your veggies? I just don't get you people. Look, I'm very busy. What? What's that sound? Did you hear that? Yes, like little feet tapping on the floorboards. Is there someone else in the house of you, Mrs. Willis? No. But someone's clearly walking upstairs. It's just the bloody rain tapping on the bloody window. Let's check it out, Detective. I bet she's gonna kill him. Wait. It stopped. Yup. Don't say I didn't bloody warn you. Shoot her! Step back, Mrs. Willis. She just killed the person in front of you. My God. It's Miss. Miss Willis. Hmm. Why is it so hard to remember? What a mess! Now I'll have to clean up these two. But not without my cleaning tool. You're such a good pig, Jeremy. Thank you. Okay, now she's talking pig language. Looks like it's time for plan B. What's the plan B? Oh, to kill the pig, right? Because, you know, everything is basically locked. The doors are locked, the windows are locked. God damn it, I could really use that gun. Okay. Now what? Um, make Mary consume Angie's blood, get the gun. Let's see. I thought, I thought I was gonna poison her freaking soup. Is that like another thing anymore? Use a needle to draw to draw a drop of blood. Why is it? I mean, why is it not my obje objective anymore? That's the question. All right, so let's just let's just see what happens. The soup has been poisoned with my blood. Objective completed, but it wasn't on there. But while I wait for her to eat it, I should get that gun. I looked like Jeremy... It looked like Jeremy took it upstairs with him. He's a clever little bastard, I give him that. Okay, wait for Mary to eat the soup, get the gun. Let's get the gun. So the needle is gone. Oh, there it is. I 
I feel like I just want to go and save my game from the basement somewhere. Oh, Jerry, me. Okay, there he is with the freaking gun. Give oh. me the gun, Jeremy. I fed you, buddy. Come on, you don't need it. He doesn't Pigs know what don't that use is. guns. I hope. Stay away from that hole. He's gonna drop it in there, in here. Yep. Bastard. Jeremy just effed everything out. Okay, is that... That's gotta be the basement, right? You spiteful bastard. What's that? Oh, whatever, dude. Okay, find the gun. Um, it's gotta be in the basement, though. So we have to be careful. We're just gonna go downstairs. If she's blocking my way, I would probably have to use the clock again. I know she's going. She's getting the cleaning supplies. I don't know where. Hopefully, it's not in the basement. Oh God. You two ugly birdies will have to wait your turn. Vegetables. Oh. I'd have to be mad to eat those bloody things. Oh no. Who's gonna feed it to the pig? Oh my god. It's time for your soup, idiot. I'm not hungry. Oh, don't give me that. I've had a difficult day. I don't care. Oh. You don't care, do you? I shit on you and your fucking soup. Oh yeah? Didn't I bloody tell you? I'm having a difficult bloody day! Fuck you, bitch. Nice. Real nice. Right. Well, here comes your soup. Whether you want it or not. Done. I won't have to put up with any of your dilly dallying anymore. Okay, so I'm wondering that could have been avoided. What if I didn't poison, you know? If I didn't um, put my finger, I drop my blood in there. Well, we'll find out, right? Let's go ahead and save the game. And try to find that freaking gun. It wasn't here somewhere. Yeah, that's definitely where it is. Oh, it's poisonous. Okay. Search. That was not here. Okay, let's go back. Gotta be it. What?
What? I'm gonna freaking die? What in the world? How? How do I be stupid and saved, I guess? Uh, maybe I'm supposed to die. Maybe I'm gonna go into, um... Burnhouse Lane. Oh, I bet that's, this, is, this is supposed to happen, yeah. Omar. Hmm? It's you again. Who else did you expect? Hi. You are right. I don't know. Am I? I don't think so. You look ill, honey. And that sweet, rotten smell of death on you is stronger than ever. I wouldn't know. I can only smell old kebabs in here. Yes. Like you and me, they decay slowly. Soon this place will rot to hell. And I don't even know if I care. Why? What happened? Well... I'll be honest. Things have been pretty fucked up lately. What's wrong? <sighs> it's Ruby. She's gone. Ruby? Oh, the new big girl. From the cellar? Yeah. She went feral the other night. Just like Destiny. So, I closed the shop. There's no one here that needs my food anymore. I feel like I should leave, but I don't know where to go. Where did Ruby go? The streets, I think. I can hear the pounding of her feet at night sometimes. I just turn off the lights and hide. My advice. If you happen to bump into her, make sure you have enough bullets on you. Or just run. That's what I'd do. She's slow as shit. Just dash past her and you'll be alright. Have you been eating? You look so skinny. With Ruby gone, I've lost my appetite. All this food in here, and I just feel sick looking at it. You're wasting away. You shouldn't worry about me. Don't you have enough problems of your own? Because I'm good, I'm okay. I'll go somewhere, get some sleep. Yeah, that's what I need. A long, long sleep with no dreams. You can't just give up, you know. I'm not giving up. I've been defeated. And I've accepted it. What else can I do? Just wait. Be patient. Sooner or later, someone new will come along. And you'll make food for them. Isn't that what you want? No. Not anymore. I can see things clearly now. And I'm okay with all of this. I must go. We must all go, in the end. Any other threats out there that I should know about? Well, have you met the dead guys? Yeah. I met a whole bunch at the cemetery the other day. They looked like burnt corpses. And I'm pretty sure they wanted to eat me. What are they? <sighs> They're the poor sods who won't accept their fate, that's all. They were weak in life, and they're just as weak in death. Sometimes a single bullet is enough to bring them down. You still have your gun, yes? I wish, but no, I lost it. Well, I'm sure there's another one somewhere out there. How do I get back now? Why? What's there to go back to? Would you understand if I told you? Hmm. You're right, I probably wouldn't. This place has been my home for as long as I can remember. But it's not mine. Not yet, anyway. All right, all right. I know just the thing. There's this guy. Ben. Ben the Barber. He said he was expecting you. Expecting me? 
said something about a haircut. You two had an appointment? Not exactly, but... Well, his shop's here on Burnhouse Lane, just a few doors down from mine. The problem is the road is blocked. You'll have to go out the back door, then cut through the old swimming pool. But no rush. Have a nice smoke first. I'll open the door when you're ready. Right. I'll have a smoke now. Alright, find Ben the Barber, uh, cut through the old swimming pool. So, uh, I think I have to cut through the old swimming pool first to find the barber. So let's see what we can do. Uh, did I save my camera already? You done? Then cross over the counter. I'll take you to the back door. Okay. Um... Not that way. <laughs> Just try to see what happens. This okay. way. Let's go. Good luck out there. Hopefully we'll meet again someday. Thanks. Yeah. See you next time. All right, Omar. Thanks, buddy. Always a pleasure. So let's go. Hopefully we'll find that gun. Maybe he'll give me the gun. I don't know. I can go here. This is just burning and stuff. All swimming pool. Uh, nothing by uh, towels. Beware of showers. Interesting. It's full of showers. I just save my game, so I don't need to do this. Uh, hopefully, you know, showers. Okay, we got a ladder that goes up and a ladder that goes down. Um, let's go up first, maybe? Ah, so I move these chains. Okay, hang on a second. What am I, what am I supposed to pick up? Hmm, and for what? Chlorine. Okay. Let me go down first and see what I gotta do with this. Okay, that's poisonous gas. I could turn off that gas here, but the valve is missing, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna die. We're gonna die, we're gonna die, we're gonna die. Okay, so this is not good. So. Somehow we gotta get to find a valve first. What the hell is a valve? Okay, let's just move stuff around. Oh, wait, chlorine, chlorine, right? I'm trying to think what chlorine has to do with gas. Chlorine hazard area. Chlorine hazard area. Uh, okay, now I won't have to drag that thing all the way up there. Ah, uh, that's what I needed to do, okay. Anything else? No, this is dumb. This is dumb. Okay, so how the hell do I get up there? Okay, 
I saved my game recently, so I'm just gonna go for it. See if there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And there is. Okay, fantastic. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There are zombies there. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. We're doing it seven off. Okay, so this is where I put it. Uh, turn the water on, take valve. We turn the water on? According to the size, I can turn the water in the showers on and off here. Hmm. Read instructions. Fill tank with chlorine. It says here that a single dose shouldn't exceed 100 millimeters, milliliters, but I feel it wouldn't hurt to add a little more. Okay, so we can grab this, guys. Fill tank with chlorine, sure. Put the entire bottle in there, and now the chlorine levels are way over the limit. Okay, maybe we'll kill the zombies that are in there. We can go ahead and take this. Turn this water on. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, fantastic. Fantastic. Too much chlorine is bad. Okay, turn it back off, right? Because we gotta go through there, I'm assuming. Yeah, let's go ahead and take this valve with us. There we go. Alright, so I feel like I should go ahead and... Um, I don't know if I need to do this or not, but I have the valve and it let me take it, so I'm assuming I really need... I need it to uh, do something in here later. Probably could have done this later, but hold on. Hold on. Okay, gas is off. Uh, let's go ahead and take the valve. Uh, search the corpse. What you got? Pistol ammo. This should come in handy. Fantastic. Anything else? This poor guy died poisoned by gas. The looks on his face proves that it wasn't an easy death either. Oh my god. Okay. So let's go where the zombies are, were, and see what's up there. Showers are off. Oh my god, there's another freaking zombie here. Do I need to go there? No, maybe not. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, this one was empty. My god, do I really have to dig through this one? Yeah, I guess I am. That was all for nothing. Okay, yeah, I feel good about this one. There's somebody to the right of me too. I mean, that's not gonna work. We get a gun. She's dead, okay. Not strong enough, can't do this anymore. Goodbye, Burnhouse Lane. 
Okay, they all turn into zombies. I have a gun. Let's go ahead and uh, do we need to reload it? No, we only have 10 bullets. I'm surprised I didn't find anything in this freaking toilet there. So we can now shoot the zombie. Yeah, probably a good idea to save now. Search mailbox. All right, well, we got pretty decent amount of pistol ammo now. Um, thirty-five. Where's the barber shop? To um to shoot her. Miss Alamo plus ten. Barber shop locked. It's not good. I don't have a key. I don't have a key. But she freaking ate it. And of course. All right. Big girl. Let's see what you got. She's definitely not very fast. Did you have the key? She got some kind of mask on. She didn't have the freaking key? Well, why did I kill her? Oh, now it's not locked. Actually, I think I had to kill her. Got it. Angel, I'm here. Come closer. You came. I knew you would. It's you. The torso guy. I prefer Ben. Ben the barber, at your service, Angeline. How did you grow your limbs back? How? It's simple. That fat evil woman chucked a pot full of boiling hot soup all over me. And I died. Ah, shit. I'm sorry, mate. It's alright. I was too tired to carry on living anyway. And here, on Burnhouse Lane, I can finally give my very last haircut. The finest I've ever done. So, she didn't eat any of that soup. So, she didn't eat any of the soup? No. Why? Did you poison it? Yeah. Well, sort of. Mary hated the vegetables. She only made it for me. She said a healthy diet was meant to help my body make new blood quicker. And yet, it ultimately killed you. That it did. Ironic, isn't it? Ah, oh, those Brussels sprouts always made me wretch. I can still smell them, even after death. You died. Does that mean I'm dead too? You're not dead. Not yet, Angel. But this dreadful illness you have is killing you fast. You're one foot in the grave already. It's just a matter of time. How do you know about it all? There are no secrets on Burnhouse Lane. I, myself, 
have been a frequent visitor here for a long time. Enough to get used to it, and I can tell you, this place is horrible, but it kind of grows on you. Stop it, Ben. The only thing that grows on me is my fucking cancer. Quiet day. I don't see any other customers. It's always quiet here nowadays. The shop is just a ghost of its former self. The kind of people that live on Burnhouse Lane, they... I guess they don't have a great need for barbers anymore. That's what it is. What people? There's hardly anyone here. Oh, there's people here, all right. They sit at home, quiet-like, with their doors locked tight. But why? I guess they choose to suffer in solitude. It's not exactly something you want to share, is it? You didn't help me. Did you not hear the gunshots outside? Forgive me, Angel. I couldn't interfere. That thing was yours to kill. I nearly died. You could have... You could have opened the door and let me in. That's not how it works, I'm afraid. She had to die. There was no other way. Who was she? She was Ruby. You already know that. Yes, but I feel like I'm missing something here. I want to know the truth. Who is the real Ruby? What does it matter? Okay, um, I kind of want to know, honestly. Let's go ahead and use my ability. I got two uses, right? Come on, Ben. Tell me. Who was she? She was merely a voice inside your head. A voice that says, more. A voice? It's gone now, but that's okay. You never liked it anyway. Did you say something about cutting my hair? Yes, the chair's ready for you. But I thought barbers were for men only. Not this one. Women are always welcome here at Ben's. Especially you, Angeline. Just let me know when you're ready. I'm ready for the haircut. Then please, take a seat. If you require a cigarette first, the ashtray's over there. I'll wait. Uh, I don't know why he wants me to save my game so bad, uh, but let's just do that. Okay. Oh, the scissors feel good in my hands again. God, how I've missed this. It feels like there's this electricity flowing through my veins instead of blood. I wish I'd understood it all before, you know? Sometimes, things just inexplicably happen to us. But at the same time, these things are what's meant to be. I mean, a grave digger doesn't bury in the ground because it pleases him. A bee doesn't sting you to cause you pain. Or a doctor. A doctor doesn't cut you open to punish you for something you did. They do it because those are the ways of the world and always have been. What? God. We were happy back then, weren't we? Long ago, in another life. Little kids splishing and splashing in the puddles on rainy afternoons. Mother's calling us home for dinner. So innocent and pure. So delightfully blithesome. Without a care in the world. I saw a kid playing in the puddle today. I used to do the same when I was little. Yeah, well... Now, take a deep breath and let it all go. Surround yourself with sweet nothingness. It's cold here, 
and it's dark. But it's a good kind of cold and a good kind of dark. You knew this would come. The moment you start to fade is simply the preparation for what's about to happen. The parts of who you once were begin to crumble and fall like an old tape. And you realise Seriously? Seriously? I'm sorry, Andrew. I'm so, so sorry. I had to do it. Forgive me. Are you kidding me? There's our sleeping beauty waking up. Snooping around me bloody house, were we? Naughty, naughty. Okay, so somehow she has me. Maybe it was just a dream or other world. Maybe he killed me for uh, for a reason. Okay, now I'm supposed to be nice to people here, but I'm never gonna be nice to her. Let me go, you bitch! She got me tied How up. about some bloody gratitude? You would have died in that basement if I hadn't showed up just in time to pull you out. Hmm. <laughs> I'd rather die than give my blood to your ugly fucking pig. Don't you dare talk like that about Jeremy. He's better than all of you bloody bastards. Seriously. What's with everyone being so bloody rude today? I'm just gonna ignore it. Truth is, I'm really glad you showed up. That stupid bloke was getting all dried up way too fast. I had to let him go. But you... Well, you... You look full of blood. I think it's the start of a long and beautiful friendship, dear. But let's see how you bleed first. Shall we? This might work out just fine for us. She's gonna taste some of oh, no. my blood. Looks like we're out of needles. That's not good. I'm sorry, but you'll have to wait. What? I think I had another box up in the attic somewhere. <clears throat> okay. Would you get out of this? My head's getting tired. <laughs> Finally got it. Okay, we broke loose. <clears throat> Do I still have my gun? I wonder. Full of blood? I'll give you full of blood. Alright. <clears throat> Face Bloody Mary. Okay, so what's going on? Oh, cactus, cactus. Uh, I don't think it's a good for anything other than decoration. I might as well stack it on the shelf in my room. Yeah, if I'm alive. Mm. Okay, face Bloody Mary. So, I don't have a gun. But I feel like I need to kill the pig first, right? Hmm. I wonder where she went. Anyway, I think I still have to get the pig first. So we gotta go. Why are we going? What? What is up? Hang on, we're not gonna go there yet, right? Maybe that's what she went. But first, let's see if the pig is there. Hear you. Oh, you bloody piggy. Okay, kick it. Uh, let's kick it. See ya. <clears throat> now we'll see if pigs can fly. <laughs> it's a hatio pile of shit. Let's do this. Now 
We'll see if pigs can fly. Now we'll see if pigs can fly. Oh, it's got, oh my god. Jeremy will not be speaking in class today. Okay, that was kind of funny. Sorry, piggy. Okay, uh, that's done. Is piggy really dead though? Maybe she's not. Um, do I really need to go there? Is there anything? Um, what was this? Ah! Oh, man. Okay, we got some more uh, pistol ammo. Oh, guy. Okay, uh, I think we're ready to go back up. Was there anything that was here that um, I can still enter now? Because I think maybe this door was closed or something before. I don't actually remember. Yeah, I can't go down. Yeah, I think this is it. I have to go up. Oh, let me just save my game one more time. Alright, game is saved. Let's go and probably kill that um, freaking lady. Go to attic. There will be no going back once I face Maria. I should make sure I'm ready for this final fight. I think I'm ready. I looked around first. No, I uh. Well, what about the clock? Yeah, I can't do anything. Well, this has got to be it. I can't go anywhere else. Joe Willis, Ick Rose Baum, E A Willis, Bill Willis. Okay, take a look at the years. 25, 42, 84, 55. 1, 2, 3, 4. They're numbered. Okay, I took a screenshot of that just in case I need this. Mary. This one's like I don't have anything to unlock it with. Okay, more piece of ammo, fantastic. It's uh, <clears throat> loaded. Use control panel. Wait, why? Where's Mary? Uh, lock, lock the password. Okay. Maybe the names of them are passwords? Okay, so that is safe too. Uh, use control. Oh boy. <clears throat> okay, Mary. You shouldn't be so tough down without a pig. Let's see how you run without your skinny, pretty legs. I think this is a compliment. Got her. Oh, she had this tiny little key inside her pocket. I wonder what that's for. Probably that suitcase next to it, right? Uh, <clears throat> what else? Oh, that's it? Okay. So, let's try to use that key. I bet it unlocks Nymeri's biggest secret. Well, what about the control panel? <clears throat> okay. So that's where the password is going to come from, right? One, two, three, four. Um, okay. We can wait that for a minute. Let's do the um, the secret first. That's a gun. A gun, huh? It's not just the ordinary one. This is real hand cannon. Take this or do well, Yes, I'm gonna take that. Okay, we got an awesome gun. It is weird that you know she has 
she had that gun, really. Okay, so let me think about the positive. We got four letters. One, two, three, four. Let's reason to the first one is only it's M A J B D. Second one is A N C I O. Third one is R C A N L. And the fourth one is K L M R E. Okay, so this says uh, one, yeah, four of them. January through March. This is January through March. Uh, January through. What? What? Okay, so one thing I see is that <clears throat> third quarter, I don't know, this. So this lady here, number three, right? It's AE, so something is missing there, right? Lockdown passwords change orderly. Change quarterly. So, as of right now, it's September, right? As we know from the calendar from the farmhouse. And when we started the day on the September 3rd, I believe. Okay, but yeah, I'm not gonna read them, I'm just gonna look closer. So January is missing M and June is missing M. As well as any. And yeah, we do have A in here. Okay, so <clears throat> we got that unlocked. Fantastic. Um, we killed Vladimir. Oh, no way! I didn't check her pearl pearls. Oh my god. I should have checked her pearls. That is crazy. I already do this. Okay, so let's see if we can check her pearls. No, there's no way she survived those so many bullets. Okay. So there's, she's not some kind of superhero, so yeah, there's no way to avoid that. So I'm just gonna have to, um, <clears throat> go ahead and open this guy and just continue, I guess, and let her bite me. Yeah, let me take this gun.
can't believe she beat me. That is crazy. Yeah. I agree. Me neither. That is crazy. Crazy, crazy. Okay, let's go. Let's get out of here, I guess. And I'm assuming that that's the end of the chapter. It's been almost two hours. It's a long one. It's time to leave Honiton and never come back. Okay, uh, I can't run, so I don't know if I need to go back from behind the fence or something. I forgot to turn the light off, that's unfortunate. Liz Bloody Mary is dead, I'm glad she is, she's not a very nice lady. That bite on my leg is really starting to hurt. I won't be able to run. The wound must be deeper than I thought. Wait. Did I succeed in the end? I mean, the soup was a fiasco, but Mary did drink my blood in the end. Straight from my leg. Speaking of which, I must put a dressing on it when I get home. Yeah, I guess at the end she did really drink the blood. So, I mean... It's way past midnight already. The towns will see. That's what the big cat and Again, meant. this town is always asleep. And park so far away. In hindsight, it was really unnecessary. Oh, wait. Wasn't I supposed to uh, get the fish and stuff? Guess not. Chapter 5. Fantastic. 